When planning a new high school, the key to hitting your budget is to know exactly how much square footage you need. After that, budgeting is relatively easy, but getting that number is hard and even a minor mistake could cost millions down the road. The most common method used by architects starts at the budget number and works backwards using estimates on cost per square foot in order to find the total square foot needed. Once architects know that, they squeeze in other benefits your school can have like multiple gyms, an auditorium, or enhanced music rooms. But there are two obvious issues with this approach. The first, the cost per square foot, is a calculation based on comparable schools. Those schools aren't anything like your school. The second problem is that method doesn't incorporate your curriculum and the expected growth within that structure. The course schedule is incredibly complicated in high school and can't simply be estimated, it has to be predicted and planned using data. 15 years ago, a superintendent helped us make a discovery that completely changed the way we plan and design high schools. Our discovery was simply this. In order to have an accurate square foot estimate and the most efficient use of space, the high school must be planned around your curriculum. How do we know what works? We actually tested this process against a dozen previously designed high schools and found that in every case, the design layouts would have been more accurate to their intended budget had they planned around the curriculum. So if you're in the planning phase now, ask your planner or architect how your curriculum is involved in determining the amount of space you need. If they don't have an answer, you may be up for some major budget surprises down the road. So if you'd like to learn more about this process, contact us and we'll walk you through the steps.